Hello and welcome to Creative Design and Supply. Today I'm going to show you how we are going to um, do a print and cut. So this is going to be a basic print and cut. Um, I will go over more features later. Um, I'm excited to get into this. So we are going to go, we are at the home page on the Caesar and we are going to click design. Okay, so let me just go ahead and change this. So that way you see I'm selecting my, well, let me unclick this and we're gonna start over. So I'm going to go up here, I have my cutting mat. So now I'm going to show that I'm using my standard cutting mat. All right, so now I am going to do a print and cut sheet. So I want to click this, that way it gives me, and it automatically does your, um, let's see, no, it does not, sorry. You need your page marks, all right? And now um, we are going to go down here. So you want to make sure that you select the proper size of your paper. Um, and I have, I have the eight and a half by 11. So I am going to select the A4 on that, which is the eight and a half by 11. And then we are going to have this on the mat. Now I'm gonna show you how we are going to import this. So you're just basically gonna click up here on file and you are going to import, all right? So I have a design here that I am going to use and this is one of our DTF transfers. And um, so we are going to go in here and we are going to trace what well, actually automatically traces for you. So whenever you come up to here, you're going to see your mask tolerance and um, select chain, uh, select color range and drawing tools. So I am just going to press next because I want to show you it's going to shadow down and automatically trace for you. Sorry, intricate design. So I just want to make sure on this, you see right down there. So I just want to. I'm just going to play with it and see. So now see, you see that it takes away all of that. All right. And you want to click. Okay. So I kind of want. All of that. So I'm going to go back just to let it do itself. So and you definitely want to click um, include holes. That way it gets inside of there. If not, you're just going to have outlines and you're going to have a big white spot. All right. So now I like the way that this is. You can smooth it out a little bit more, but my next step I'm excited about. So here is where your, don't worry about the little zigzag lines. Um, I'm going to show you, uh, that's just showing you where it's going to cut. But the point that I like is this right here, include contour bleed. Now this is going to eliminate all those white edges. And you can go in, um, include uh, inner bleeds and all of that. So. I'm going to leave it the way it is, um, just what it suggests, and I'm just going to go finish. All right, so now I am going to turn this. Okay, and we are going to scale it up or make it bigger, stay inside those registration marks. So let's go ahead and we are going to move it down. Okay. So everything is inside those lines, all right? So now I am going to press print and we are going to put it in another video. Um, I'm gonna show you hands-on with the cutter and show you how we're going to print and cut. So now I'm going to go ahead and you are going to go up here and you are going to print. Now you're going to come over here and you are going to select your printer. I want the best print. Okay, so now that I'm at my printer, I'm gonna show you that we are going to print our artwork 
over here. And then you can select, you can see how this is going to cut. So first we are going to send to the printer. All right, and all right, and we are not going to mirror this, okay? We're unchecked um, for, that's only for heat transfer. All right, so now I have mine and I'm going to go and print this and then we will go back to our design and be able to cut it. All right, now I'm gonna send it to printer. All right, I'm selecting my preferences on there. Best, okay. And now I am just going to print. Okay, and so I'm inside my registration marks. And now that I'm printing my artwork, I'm going to go back and whenever I go back, I am going to select for the cut. All right, if you have any questions so far, just comment below and I'll be glad to help you. And I will see you on the, on the next video.